What's up guys and welcome back to GTA Online. Today we are going to be checking out the Vapid Dominator GTX. So this is a brand new car in the game. Came out a couple of days ago with the uh, the Overflood Tyrant that we checked out. And uh, honestly it looks really really interesting. So the only problem is it's a muscle car and you guys know muscle car races are pretty few and far between. So I'm going to do my best to get us some decent races for this video. But uh, they're never easy to fill up. But I wanted to check this thing out just because it's kind of like, it's like a mix between a Mustang and a Charger. And honestly, I kind of see a little bit of a Camaro in there too. And obviously those are, are some of the heaviest hitting kind of like sports slash muscle type cars in the world, you know, for today and for the last like 40, 50 years. So it's, uh, I don't know, I, I thought it was kind of interesting. Like I, I definitely see mostly Charger in my opinion. I see a fair amount of Mustang in there and then maybe a little bit of Camaro as well. But uh, I thought it was cool. And I ordered it in green. I thought it was going to be a lime green, which I think would have looked really good. Instead, it came out with this, like, matte military green, which still doesn't look bad. It's a little bit more rugged, I guess. But uh, I think we're going to change it to a, a brighter color. I think a bright color would do this car well. Either that or black. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, this is it. Right from the start, you got to keep in mind this is a muscle car, so muscle cars are not going to be nearly as fast as what we're used to driving in terms of all the other supercars and stuff. So it is feeling a little bit slow off the start, but we're going to go ahead and take this thing into our garage. We're going to customize it up, both performance-wise and with uh, with customization, visual customization. And uh, I'll see you guys once we get back to the garage. We'll see what we can do with this thing. Here in my garage, baby. Let's get it, guys. Yeah, I, I definitely, like, I don't know. I would have loved the lime green. I think that dark rain is just too dark. So we're going to go ahead and go all armor, all brakes, full engine. You got some machine Got to keep in mind we can change the brace bar if we want to. That's a customization option. Um, we want ooh, mud guards. We have a lot of interesting options here. This is going to be kind of cool. Suspension all the way, tranny all the way, turbo all the way. Looks good to me. All right, cool. So already did brakes. Front bumpers, what do we want to do here? Primary extender, secondary extender, carbon extender, or a sticker bomb extender. I think I'm going to go with carbon there. Engine, bar, what do we want to go with here? Ooh, GT strut brace. That looks kind of cool. I don't know if we're going to see much of that. We might have some interesting hood options. We'll see what happens. All right, so for exhaust, we currently have one on each side. We can put those in the middle. We can carbon them and put them in the middle, which I think looks pretty cool. See what else we have here. Yeah, I'm going for the carbon dual big bore. Where was it? There it is. Carbon rally exhaust. I like that. Fenders. Could go with some body arches, secondary body arches, carbon body arches, chrome arches. I'm going to go with the body arches. That looks good to me. Grill. Change the grill up a little bit here. Some really interesting options. I think that's kind of cool. I also kind of like the stock. I don't know. I, I don't dislike any of these. I'm going to go with the shark grill. That looks kind of interesting. All right. So we've got a strip hood. Uh, or st yeah, strip hood, secondary strip hood, carbon strip hood, sticker bomb, intake hood, carbon intake, you bulkhead vented with Technology the scoop, performance hood. Lots of options here. That's kind of dope. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm going to try the vanity hood and we're, I, I kind of want to see what the respray looks like after we get the respray done. So we've got that. Mud guards. Do we want some mud guards on there? I don't think so, dude. Why would you want mud guards on a, on a charger panel? Ooh, carbon or blacked? I'm going to go with the carbon. Alright. Respray I'm not going to do yet. Let's, let's continue on here. Do we want to go with the carbon roof? Oh, that's dope. The racing roof. Or we could go with a hood. Or we could go with the little vortex shark fin generator things. I kind of really like that. I don't know why. Racing roof. I'm going to go for that. It's like ventilated, I guess. I don't know. Let's see what we have for skirts here. Probably just going to go with a carbon skirt. Ooh, MK1 Ram Bar. A Mark I Ram bar. I think that's a little, a little much. Honestly, the stock does not look bad here. I think I like the stock better than everything else, so I think I'm going to lose that. 
Spoiler, what do we want to go with here? Bubbles or something? Carbon dovetail, but it's up above the rear window. That's kind of weird. We could go with the drag spoiler, but I feel like that's a little bit much. I want a nice spoiler on there. I don't want anything too crazy, though. I feel like there's not a good mid-range style. A lot of these are, like, low and bulky, and then this gets a little bit too big. I wish there was something more in the middle. I'm thinking either that or this. No rush at all. I honestly don't love any of these. We could go with full carbon there. I just don't like how that's set so far back. I'm gonna go with this. All right, looks good to me. Let's not not get too crazy about it. All right, um, for respray. This is where things can get interesting. So primary color, what do we wanna do? Do we wanna go with a classic color or do we wanna go more like metallic or something? I also feel like the rear wheels weren't really, neither, neither one of the wheels, the, they weren't really spaced right. They should be spaced out when you add those extra fenders on, and they weren't really spaced out, which does not look the best. Hmm. What do you guys think here? I kind of want to break. See, like, that would look super sick, but we don't have it unlocked yet. That's what I was hoping to be able to buy for a color. I mean, a red wouldn't look bad. I might go red. I think the red is going to pop well with the carbon fiber and stuff. So we've got that secondary color. Where is this going to show up? On the mirrors. Hmm. Mirrors and door handles. Probably just going to go black for that. Black or carbon black? Let's just Looks keep it black. As good as you. All right. I mean, I think it looks good. I just, I wish... I almost... Let me see. I almost feel like it looks better without those fenders because the wheels aren't spaced properly. I'm just gonna go with the carbon arches. We're gonna make this thing ridiculous. All right, let's uh, let's go for wheels. What do we want to do for wheels here? Wheel type definitely gonna want uh, muscle. I don't know if we're gonna want muscle. This isn't like a traditional muscle car, so we're gonna go. I'm thinking is sport or high end. It's gonna be hard to go wrong here. Really, anything's gonna fit with this. Um, hmm. Think long and Let's check high end. Those are kind of dope. Not the Super that. G. Wheel color gonna go with black. Tires, custom That's tires, and bulletproof for. them. All right, is that what we want? I don't know. I feel like should should we go? Maybe we should go with like a, a metallic red to give it a little bit more pop. Metallic Torino with a pearlescent. Ooh, with a pearlescent orange on there. That's kind of dope. I like that. Good. This is already looking better. More of like a, a burnt orange look to it now. Okay. Lots of carbon fiber, huge exhaust. Honestly, I, I really like it's it's just throwing me off those fenders without having the spacers in there to bring the wheels out so they kind of match with the exterior of the fenders. It makes me want to take those fenders off, but I feel like it just becomes too average and boring if you take them off. Life is hard so I'm gonna leave them with the carbon. All right, let's go next to the ground. I mean, I think she looks good. It's a good looking car, don't get me wrong. I like the reddish orange that we went with. It's sparkly, it's gonna look great out in the sunlight. But uh, I just wish, I wish it had those spaces. Oh, dude, this color looks incredible. Definitely a lot faster, still a muscle car, but definitely a lot faster. Overall feels pretty good. I know originally they had planned to put uh, liveries on this thing, or liveries, whatever you want to call them, so you could kind of like add in different decals and stuff. Obviously that never came to fruition, but overall I would say this thing looks pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with how she turned out. I like the color a lot. I feel like we should put this color on more cars. Anyway, I'm gonna try to host us up a race here. I have a couple that I found in the club that looked fun. One is called the Mount Chiliad Highway East. So I'm gonna go to my bookmarked races. I'm gonna try to see if we can, uh, Try to see if we can do this, but like I said, it's really tough to get people to join muscle car races. 
unless they're in uh, in the crew. And the crew people, I mean, sometimes they show up, sometimes they don't. Whoever that was right there, they're probably gonna show up, but one-on-one -on -one races get kind of boring in my opinion. I don't know, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'll see you guys when we get it going. It's our boy Chincho. I should have known, man. He's uh, he's always on that GTA grind. I, I respect it. I feel you. But uh, yeah, man, this is what always happens, and it's it's unfortunate. I mean, I, I have auto invite on. I invite my crew members. I invite my friends. I, I try everything, and it, it's like, unless you're playing like a, a supercar race that a lot of people want to do, I feel like the GTA race scene is is kind of slowing down a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, what I probably need to do is delete the crew and then invite or like start up a new crew and get a, a lot of people who still play the game, who are still watching the videos and stuff. But uh, we'll we'll try this out, see what it looks like. Dude, this is a good looking car. I, I really like the way it turned out. That shark grill up front, I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I do, but uh, it's, it's pretty insane looking. All right, here we go, guys. We'll have a little 1v1 race against Chencho. Not the most exciting races in the world, but uh, I guess we'll see what happens. He could end up destroying us and making us look bad, but we'll see. Ooh, looks like he's got the car as well. Dude, he literally, he's always on and he always has the new cars. Like, Chencho, you're the man if you're watching this video. All right, here we go, buddy. A honk pack. He's got a very loud, high-pitched horn. We are neck and neck off the bat here. And I will say that Chincho's like, he's a solid racer, dude. He is not the, the typical racer that I can kind of have my way with. He is a good driver in this game. So this should be an entertaining, entertaining battle here. Seems like this is a little bit more of like a, a GP style, legitimate racetrack style type of deal. I have seen that there's something that if you ride the red and white lines, you actually get a bit of a speed boost. I'm not sure how that works. I think you kind of go back and forth over them on the left and right, like that, and it gives you a speed boost. I don't know. I saw some people talking about that in my last video when I got passed up really bad. Granted, my car was also just slow in that video. So I guess I'll keep trying that. We've got like trees coming up out of the road. I mean, this thing feels super solid, man. It it gets the job done. It feels great, handles well. For a muscle car, I, I honestly couldn't tell you how fast it is. I feel like it's on the upper end of muscle cars, for what that's worth. Because like I said, people don't really race in muscle cars anymore. Kind of took that last turn a little bit bad. He caught up some ground on us. You'd think that riding the lines like this would make it worse, though, you know what I mean? Because you're getting all bumpy and kind of losing a little bit of traction, and I feel like that'd slow you down in real life, but... I guess that's not the case in GTA. This is an interesting track, man. I like it. We can get people on it. Whew. Riding these lines, I, dude, I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm hoping it's making a difference, because it's almost making me spin out sometimes. Oh, we're coming back on the same track that we came up with? Oh, this would be sketchy with actual, like, a real race with a lot of drivers. Some head-on collisions. Looks like Chincho may have, uh, may have bit the dust back there. We're just gonna keep on, on cruising, dude. Okay. <laughs> oh, almost went off the edge right there. So is this just like down and back, down and back? He's not too far behind us. I was thinking about slowing down and letting him catch up, but he's not too far back. I tell you what, going up was a lot less sketchy. Coming down is uh, a bit more concerning. I like having the rails on the side so we don't end up uh, going overboard. He should be able to catch up. Catch up's on. This is insane. This is a cool idea for a track. Oh my gosh! Woo! Dude. I ain't giving up, Chincho. I'm, I'm keeping the pedal to the metal. We're gonna make this interesting. I may end up going off the edge, but I'm gonna pretend like you and I are neck and neck fighting for that last spot. 
Even though this is only... It's only lap one out of two. I think... Did he go off back there? He may have gone off. Oh, no, dude. It's all right. I got a second and one in mind. We can have a, a round two of this competition. Whoo, dude. This is uh, this is pretty cool, man. I think that's what I'm gonna do, though. I need to like, hmm. Maybe maybe I'll delete it before I put this video up. And if you guys want to join it, I forget how you get people to join. I don't know if you get a link or what. I'll have some info down in the description if you guys are watching this video and you want to join the crew on PS4. You can feel free. I feel like that might help out because then in future episodes I'll get some people who are actually playing the game more. And we could actually fill up some lobbies and have some fun. I miss the days where you could just host up a race and you'd get, you know, 10 people in there right away. It just doesn't really happen anymore. There aren't enough people playing the game, which I understand. The game's getting older. But... You want me to be honest, this is still one of my favorite games on the market right now. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and call it here. We have a huge lead over Chincho, and we're just going to see the same route again coming up the mountain and coming back down. We're going to try out one other race that I found for muscle cars, one other stunt race for muscle cars in, uh, in our next race. And uh, I'll see you guys when that takes place. It's probably still going to be just Chincho and I, but it's better than nothing. So see you guys there. Alright, yeah guys, we're good. I made a new crew. I'll have a link down in the description. If you guys play GTA relatively regularly, then uh, feel free to join. The only problem is only 100 people can join. So that's what makes it so tough, man. But uh, this is uh, this is going to be an interesting race here. We've got... Okay, alright. Alright. <laughs> so much is going on. This is called Mario 64 Peach's Castle. And it's kind of odd <laughs> what is happening here we're playing against uh king clutch games okay yeah don't don't want to go off the edge there he might go off the edge nope he's good all right and uh, there's not really like a, a a definite direction that we're going here so it's kind of hard to tell where the next checkpoint's gonna be i guess we, you can kind of see it if you look down in the bottom left See the next one on the list dude this is dope this is actually a, a really cool idea for a map it actually looks legit too i think it's actually a part of the castle oh back this way oh my gosh <laughs> this is ridiculous bro all right we're doing all right okay we're, we're doing okay though we going back up top i think we're going back up top yep i like how you can't tell where the next checkpoint is you can run this with supercars. We are a thousand percent as soon as we get a new crew to do this one again because this is crazy. Nobody will really know what's coming. All right, so we want to grab this, and it looks like we're going to be going inside the castle. Okay. Up top. And we're going to go left. <laughs> and then we got to back it up and go to the right. And then we're gonna go down here. <laughs> Yo, I bet this guy's gonna get so mad. Skirt! <laughs> I had to, bro, I had to. Gonna keep on going. This is the most ridiculous race that I've ever seen in my life. How many checkpoints are there? That's what I wanna know. It is nice that the checkpoints kinda lead you in the right direction. We've got two laps of this crap. And lap number one just finished. We're now on lap two. All right. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to call it here, guys. I highly doubt this other dude is going to end up staying around for the rest of the game. And if he does, we are so ridiculously far ahead of him. He's got no chance of actually catching up. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of GTA Online. I actually really like this car. I mean, it, it seems solid. It's just it's a muscle car, dude. Like, nobody is going to race muscle cars, especially at this point in the game. And, uh... I don't think it's worth $725,000. I don't think there's there's any even remotely close reason to buy this thing, but it was fun for a video, and I think it looks pretty cool. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys in our next GTA Online episode whenever we get some new vehicles. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all later. Peace out.